Hey, what's up, YouTube? Here's another video by Right to Two Wrenches, and uh, today we're going to be working on this uh, 2003 Mercedes C230 uh, with the 1.8 liter supercharged engine. In my opinion, one of the worst cars ever made by Mercedes <laughs> in recent history. That is, they just—I think they just try to be, uh, you know, make an economy, make a cheap luxury car. Uh, I skimped out on all all sorts of things, and these cars have. A variety of small and large issues which you should I would recommend you stay away from these cars okay it's a mistake for me to buy this and uh, gonna lose money on this probably but anyway the problem I had with this car was that I let it sit for for a while and the battery completely drained on this then I went to open the door and jump start it and I realized I actually don't have the key to the to this car these things come with these they also come with the key but when I bought it, it just didn't come with the door key and uh, this is what you use to get in and out of it and uh, as you can as you can tell nothing is happening because this battery is completely drained and this is also what you need to what you use to turn the car on and off this is another problem apparently they have is that these go bad and then you have to go to the dealer spend a uh, lot of money to just get you on another one of these but that's just the tip of the iceberg as far as these cars go but anyway um, yeah here's how I uh, was able to finally get into the car I thought yeah, you might find this interesting. Okay, so basically with the car that's got the, the battery, it's completely drained. Well, you need to supply power to it somehow. You could, you know, you could work this, uh, you could work this hood, try to get it open, I tried. I couldn't really do anything. Or you could obviously do what the most common thing is and there's tools, you know, that you can stick in, get it to the door to the door handle, get it open. Um, my opinion, a lot of times you use that stuff, especially in a car that's, you know, not made of the best material, then you, what you happens is you could potentially bend these out of shape. And then uh, your car will look worse. You look bad, you know, people you're trying to sell the car, which I'm trying to do. People might kind of look at it and then uh, they think uh, they had an accident or something. The body lines are not lined up, if the body lines don't line up. So, uh, so in my quest to supply power, uh, basically, here's what I did. Okay, so basically you will need to jack up whichever side of the car the, your starter is on. And this car is going to be on its driver's side, but the jacking point for these Mercedes up for the front it's going to be down here, which I'll show you when this is all properly lifted up and supported. Uh, one thing very important is that since this car is all locked up, our emergency parking brakes aren't on. So you want to choke both the front and the rear of both your rear wheels before you jack up the car because your emergency brake isn't on and it's kind of like in the car is in neutral. You know, you lift this up and any kind of small movement, there's potential Potentially, you could uh, the car could fall off the slide off the jack stands and uh, you know cause you great bodily harm. Okay, so double, triple, <laughs> do whatever you gotta do. Check to everything. Make sure both your rear wheels are choked. They're not going anywhere. And uh, then you go to jack up your front of your car. Okay. Okay, and here's our jacking point for this car, this front of the car, this solid piece of metal right here. There's the jacking point, and then I also just placed my uh, jack stand on this side only. I'm only gonna support the the left side. That's where we're gonna be doing our work. That's where our starter is, and just let that side down so I just provide more traction so this thing doesn't slide while I'm underneath it. Okay, so with the vehicle properly uh, lifted and supported, you want to get underneath it. And then find your starter. In our case, it's going to be on the left side. There you can see our starter motor and the solenoid. Next, you want to find the where the, the power source for the starter is connected to it, which in our case is going to be, let me see if I can get a zoom in, that bolt. There you see, that bolt right there. That one actually had a cap on it. The first time I did this, I actually I, uh, popped that off and it went flying so I couldn't find it. But anyway. Uh, that's what's holding that connector in. That's your power source. 
Okay, next what you want to do is get a long piece of screw, long screwdriver. As you can see, I've taped it up because it's powered. You know, I got a, this uh, power side from my jumper box that's underneath here connected to the bottom of it. Then I taped it up so it doesn't uh, sparks. Don't, we don't get any sparks as we're moving up this up there. And then basically make sure your jumper box is grounded as well. Then basically we just put this on there. The tip of this obviously is not taped. And then we get our remote and there we go. Lock, unlock. Everything is working. Hooray. Alrighty. Now there we go. Now we can get in this thing and uh, do a proper jump start and uh, actually replacing the battery probably a much better idea. <laughs> Don't want to keep doing this. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd uh, quickly show you guys how to do this. There's another safety measure I like to take. Um, Ooh, something I forgot to mention is that uh, on this car there is a splash shield. There's actually two splash shields here that I had already removed working on the suspension and whatnot. but. Uh, you know, so if you're doing this on the car and this car, there's splash shields here. If you're doing a different car, you may not have, you may or may not have to remove a splash shield. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys, you guys liked the video. If you have any comments, suggestions, please leave them below. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.